Everybody wants to get real philosophical about barbecue. There's three things about barbecue and three things only. Number one, it tastes good. It's truly Southern and it never goes out of style. You know, you have East Coast, which is more vinegar. You have um, Texas, which is more salt and pepper. But Memphis barbecue is sexy. It's savory, it's sweet, it's salty. You hit all different flavor profiles on your palate. So Memphis is the perfect barbecue. I just don't know what else, what would be better about Memphis. You got rock and roll and you got barbecue. There's nothing better than that. It's a, you get, you got the world famous Bill Street. You walk down Bill, and then you got the best barbecue restaurant in Memphis. The barbecue lover's feast. It's got a little bit of everything we have down here. Smoking hot legs, ribs, pulled pork, onion rings, all the things that people that eat barbecue love. Can't tell you everything, because there's secrets. That's a perfect Memphis barbecue rib right there. When people come and ask me sometimes, what make your barbecue different from other people? Me, I'm the difference because I care enough to be in there every day. It's about passion. Here to 38 years later, I still have that passion. The best value to me is the sample platter, because you get a little bit of all of it. You get the whole nine yards. The sake to me cake, it's just a little different. It's a pound cake with sour cream, little cinnamon, and pecans in it. It's a great thing, sake to you, baby. <laughs> Barbecue spaghetti has been around over 50 years, and it came from uh, Mr. Brady, which is the former owner. The spaghetti has been something that he came up with because he was a cook for the railroad. And so he came up with this barbecue spaghetti, which is so unique. Because when you think about barbecue spaghetti, everybody asks us, do you all actually cook the noodles on the pit? And we do not. But we do make a special base. That's the secret to our success. I can't tell you what's in it. <laughs> it would take all the fun out of it. Our customers love our ribs. Another thing that blows their minds is the size of the ribs. We don't want any scrawny ribs. <laughs> you can look at this family and tell we don't like we don't like scrawny. We've got four generations of family, and all four generations work in the business one way or another. Everything that we have on the menu came from my dinner table, my mother's dinner table, some family member. Food is just a part of our lives. We've been in business since 1948. My dad pretty much invented the rib industry. Being Greek, Greeks based all of their meats with lemon or vinegar and salt, pepper, oregano, and garlic. But then he went to New Orleans and discovered all those Cajun seasonings. We mixed it all together, and hence what people now call Memphis-style ribs. We serve them the same way, same recipe. I tell people there's great barbecue all over Memphis, but I do think if you have one night to eat barbecue, you should come to the rendezvous. We brought the competitive style of barbecue to the public, and we were the first people in Memphis to do that. My contest is opening the doors of the three restaurants I have here in town at 11 a.m. seven days a week. That's my contest and I win every day. The barbecue nachos are, are probably our biggest seller because it's, it's a Memphis tradition. You look at barbecue in Memphis, there's barbecue restaurants or dive shops pretty much on every corner. It's like a church or a liquor store. They're gonna be everywhere in this town. Not only that, are we a good food town, there's a lot more besides barbecue now in this town. We've had some really great chefs that have all come back to Memphis and opened up really awesome restaurants and have created a food scene that is second to none. My dad had a vision of bringing barbecue out to the suburbs and having a drive-through window that could put up food as fast as McDonald's, but with waiter service, and that had never been done before. 80% of our volume are two items. It's either our pork ribs or our pork shoulder. But we like to think of ourselves as, as the pork specialists. 
When you come into Corky's, it's the same thing you expect when you come into the city of Memphis. It's the southern hospitality. As my dad always said, anybody can put out good food. Not everybody can put out good food consistently, but not everybody can put great southern hospitality on a daily basis, and that we try to do every single day, just like the city of Memphis does. Come to Memphis, expect to be treated like your family, and have an enjoyable dining experience. We have so much to offer anybody who comes to our city that they will walk away and say, why haven't I been here sooner?